I want to make- I'm going to make a dumb beer pong version of that. Like, really dumb. Like, not even worth- I call it dumb, not because it's dumb, but just that it isn't smart. Like, there's not going to be any aim assisting or motion tracking like there is in the Stuff Made Here video. I just want my cups to go back and forth. It's a drinking game, and I don't know how to code for intoxication. I needed to think of a way to get the cups to oscillate back and forth, and my first idea didn't really go so well. So the next logical step was to make this thing. This is a slider that I designed real quick in SolidWorks, and after saying the usual prayer to my six-year-old MakerBot, please don't skip steps, I was able to start assembling. The ends of the slider are 3D printed to hold in place the aluminum 2020 extrusion and fit around the stepper motor and limit switch, which will be explained later. I found a cheap slider that fits over the extrusion on Amazon and designed a mounting plate that will hold the cups and connect to the timing belt just using some zip ties. After installing the idler pulley on the other side and finishing up the timing belt, the slider was pretty much ready to use. This is seriously one of the coolest things to me. Going from an idea in your head, to a sketch, a model in a computer, and then being able to hold it in your hands, it's what made me want to start prototyping in the first place. I gotta talk about the code. This section of the code is the startup, telling the little microcontroller and Arduino Nano what is what. This is the homing portion of the code, where the motor runs until the slider hits a little limit switch, and then moves a certain number of steps to the center of the track. Doing this ensures that the microcontroller knows where the slider is at all times, and without this, it could be catastrophic. This whole section is just setting up the user interface and how to interact with it with a little rotary encoder. It took me so long to figure out. <laughs> but all of it comes together to look like this. At the top, you can turn the motor on and off. Right below that, you can select your difficulty, 1 through 10. Below this, there's an extra mode portion, which I wasn't able to get to, but I have some ideas for adding different controls to this whole setup. I plan on adding those in the next video if y'all like this one. There's also reset, which resets all the settings and rehomes the shuttle just in case there's any issues. The last sections of the code are the actions that the controller tells the motor to do based on what was selected in the previous menus. Pretty much how fast to oscillate the motors back and forth. Okay, code done. I hope it wasn't that bad. The link to the code and everything else is right below the subscribe button. You may be wondering how this little thing can fit all 10 cups used in a game of beer pong. It can. So I need to come up with a base that can hold the cups in such a way that it doesn't interfere with the rest of the game. And by that, I mean I want to use the table as a normal beer pong table without any intrusive electronics. If you've ever played with two really strong magnets on either side of a table before, then you'll know where I'm going with this. I'm going to cut out a triangular piece of acrylic that's just big enough to stick 10 magnets on in the orientation of the cups, stick that to the top of the slider that I made previously, that's going to slide under the piece of acrylic that the cups are going to be stuck onto and the bottom of the cups is going to be another magnet. There's going to be some frictional issues, but I think I have a way to fix that. I plan on cutting the acrylic into shape while I'm making the rest of the table. And speaking of... My best friend got me this for my birthday, and I'm actually going to be able to use it now. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, don't do this at home. Yeah, again, uh, don't try that at home, taking the guard off. I just don't think my hands are steady enough to cut 13 inches with a jigsaw. As you saw, I just cut out all the pieces of plexiglass. I just have this sitting here to make sure everything is going to line up proper. This is one half of the table. I'm going to make it folding, so that's the other half. Also over there, I have the triangles cut out. That's what I'm going to glue the magnets onto. And these are the rest of the pieces that I need to just make the whole thing come together. It ain't the prettiest, but it works. The little tripod that I made to hold my light fell over and broke, so uh, sorry if the lighting is worse than usual.
So I'm cleaning up with the vacuum and I just dumped it out and I was like, man, that really helps recharge it. It's sucking up all the sawdust pretty good. Well, um, the filter fell off and I just blasted all the sawdust. It's coming together. Here is one half of the table. The other half is right there. I've got the folding legs attached and those are just held on by clamps. I have it set up just like this for now to set up the electronics. And as you can see, apart from under where the plexiglass is gonna go, but this is gonna get covered up with the uh, caulking, there are no visible screws on top, so it'll be perfectly smooth. I'm just gonna install this and maybe see if I can fit the other electronics on here for the meantime. So this is gonna be here, and then just slide, it'll slide back and forth under the other plexiglass, and there's just enough room for the magnets. So the magnets are gonna to pinch together. This is gonna to be right up against it. It's moving, and it's looking good. Heck yeah. This is not how I'm gonna officially put on the magnets, but just to test it right now, and I just kinda wanna see it move. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> right now this thing's seeing a lot more friction than it's going to in the final version. I have an idea to use some UHMW tape or something that is gonna be really slick on the bottom of the cups to make it a lot smoother. I'm also gonna take off this protective layer of the acrylic, and with that, I, I kinda just wanna see this thing at max speed. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> this is probably a dumb idea, but I just want to see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna stop it before it bores a hole through this. <laughs> the fact that it just auto-centers is like, so cool. <laughs> For the next few steps, I'm just gonna find a way to attach all the magnets to the bottom triangle piece. And then I need to get the other half of the table to this point. Then I can work on hinging them together, staining it, making it look pretty, and hopefully be able to use it for a, uh, a get together tomorrow. Right now, I'm stuck with how I want to join these two together. I was originally gonna use this, just a piano hinge to go all the way across it. The two top parts would just fold together because the electronics at the bottom can't be folded together. But now that I'm thinking about it, when you're playing the game, occasionally, you know, you want to roll the ball back to your to the other team. If they end up hitting that, you know, they're not going to make it across. As well as interfering with the regular game if you want to bounce or whatever. The locking mechanism that I have, or that I'm thinking of, I think that might be strong enough. And maybe I could flip it over. Oh no, wait. <laughs> no, you can't fold it that way because that is the furthest that it goes. Here's the table, almost completed. As you saw in that time lapse earlier, I just really rushed on a top coat of just stain and some poly because I didn't want drinks to get spilled on this and it get messed up. I'll make it look pretty at some point. Here's the electronics, and I think I'm about ready to turn this thing on and see how it works. And again, I'll reiterate, I'm gonna make this look pretty at some point, but for now, I kinda like the uh, questionable look. Here at the main menu, I'm gonna go down to difficulty. Uh, let's start off with one. Turn the motor on. And it moves, yes. Look at it go. I think we're about ready to take this thing up to 10. Ah, <laughs> yes. Now it's not the quietest thing in the world, but I mean, it gets, it's pretty cool. I had to do some pretty ugly things to get this to work, including putting the tape on here. I got some UHMW tape on the bottom of the actual cups and a little felt spacer since I'm using stronger magnets than I originally thought and the plexi was actually slapping together and then this piece would get stuck. It was a whole deal. I think that if you made it to this part of the video, you've waited long enough. I'm not gonna bore you with cleaning all of this up. I'm just gonna put more magnets on the bottom of the other cups, load them up on that side of the table and see if my roommate wants to play a game.
it works. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you for joining me in my messy garage. Let me know what you would add to the different mode functions that I didn't get to in this video. And if you like it, let me know and I'll make another with some extra stuff. Thanks for watching. See y'all.